What is up, everybody? To Reverse TV here today, and we're gonna talk about Rocksteady, the makers behind the classic uh, Arkham Knight trilogy, are now completely just screwing up and going downhill at this point. So they are making the Suicide Suicide Squad game, and they are promising even more live service games, even more, even when. This game was, was received very negatively by the internet. People panned this game because of the live service aspects of playing a multiplayer co-op based Suicide Squad game. Like, who wants to play that? Nobody wanted that. We want another Batman game. <laughs> Fans would have loved to have another Batman game. And that's kind of honestly why I think Spider-Man, the Spider-Man games from Insomniac, either Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2, are getting so much praise because... They pretty much took the spot of Rock City at this point because I'm playing Spider Man 2 right now. I am enjoying it, but there's a lot of a lot of negatives, a lot of gripes out with that game. Um it's enjoyable, sure, but let's be honest, if there was another another Batman game right now from Rock City that was like how the Arkham trilogy was, would we really would Spider Man 2 really be getting as much hype right now? <laughs> like I know Sp I know PlayStation fans have the overhype because it's the only first big first party game they're getting this year, so they have to overhype the game. But if there was actually another competing Batman game, would Spider Man 2 get any shine? Like they're advertising right here, they're advertising right now, actually. Would this game get any shine if there's another Batman game crowing out? Because Spider Man, it sounded like pretty much copied the Batman formula. I mean, sure, it's great, you can play Spider Man, but I'd rather have another Batman game, to be honest, but. They're making these dumb decisions, doing more live service games. And I was like, why? So this is from Kotaku. Apparently, doing Warner Bros. Games 2023 Q3 earnings call, WB Discover CEO David Zavs Zaslav explained that the published behind games like Arkham Knight and Suicide Squad will focus on creating more always online free-to-play live service games. So that is their focus. They're doing a whole Jim Ryan decision where... We gotta get these live service games because we see the money in the Fortnite games like Fortnite, Roblox, and um, what's oh, another one? I don't know. The Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is making. They're making so much money, they want that same money, but nobody else wants these. these <laughs> nobody else wants these games. Like you're literally tearing apart your legacy with Batman, the Batman Arkham games, to make these crappy live service games. So I was like, really? I don't see why they're doing this. Like they don't see the money that. That Spider-Man game is making right now. You can have the same money if you just made another Batman game. You don't even gotta do the mainline Batman. You can do Batman Beyond, like, it, or even Gotham Knights. If that game would have been single player, it'd have been a lot better. But because it's co-op, it just made it garbage. It made it trash. So, uh, but yeah, this is just this whole thing. They're just trying to make it multiplayer based going for it, which. This, their greed is really tarnishing this art form we know as gaming at this point because people, fans will love another Batman game. It's been a while since we had Arkham Knight. And I wasn't even a fan of Arkham Knight because of the whole Batmobile. But if you just had the same formula that you have for Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, you would make another masterpiece. But because they want to focus on live service, <laughs> Insomniac has to take the, take the reins, so to say. And their game, Spider-Man game, is getting so much praise when it's just Batman. The original formula for Batman, they made it so successful. So, it's sad to see that Batman has gone downhill. The game, at least, has gone downhill because they want to focus on making money. Which is tarnishing the game franchise. Tarnishing, definitely tarnishing Rocksteady's legacy as being one of the best video game makers. Video, the best superhero game makers. That is definitely in the toilet now at this point. So, I don't have any faith in the Suicide Squad versus Justice League game. Even though I like the concept, I just don't like the whole uh, games as a service multiplayer aspect. They can't. Why can't they just d deliver a great single player game? Well, we know why. They got to make money. They have to make that uh, continual buying. Uh, all these microtransactions. They want to just put loot boxes, all that stuff in the game. Which is definitely ruining their legacy at this point. This person says, I'm looking forward to Suicide Squad, not because I expect to enjoy it, but because a game whose premise is so in conflict with its own gameplay can't help but be a hilarious train wreck when released. Yeah. Nobody has any faith in the Suicide Squad game. 
Outside the line of service, oftenest, I think this is the biggest sin. Turning a weird super villain team game into a generic shooter. The whole point of the Suicide Squad is these guys have a weird talent that may be useful to a weird secret government agency. Just making them dudes with guns makes you wonder why they are not just recruiting common criminals instead. Yeah. This is a soulless game as a service game is what they're making now. Uh, games will soon, if not already, be shops that have some gameplay mechanics. Instead, you know, a full video game that also has a shop. Uh, it really is kind of amazing how an overpaid, dumb piece of crap Zavlov continues to be. <laughs> He's definitely the reason why why Rock City and WB is declining. Like the fact that they literally tarnished the whole Batman trilogy is just it's just amazing at this point. How do you turn Rock City, the people who made the Batman Arkham trilogy, into this now? Like it's just sad to see. This game is gonna be amazing. So if somebody's hyped for the game. I mean, I mean. The, pre- the the premise is amazing. Like you get to fight, play as a suicide squad against the, uh, a brainwashed Justice League. That's a cool premise, but the whole co-op aspect is just really just not. Make, I'm not a fan of that. Threatens even more loud service games. I feel threatened. <laughs> is that a threat? <laughs> People are saying they're making more loud service games. It's considered to be a threat at this point. That is kind of crazy. That's not much. That's how much the gaming community dislikes these games and service games. I promise I won't buy your live service games. Do can't even release one yet, but okay. Looks like I've lost interest in this game. I was planning to play with my brother. <laughs> Bruh. This whole loud service thing is, is, is really, is, we need to talk about this. This kind of really ruining the game, and to be honest. Like, I get it. You all, all you guys want that Fortnite money, but a lot of you guys won't get that Fortnite money. <laughs> You're not getting it. So, uh, it's so annoying because these people who are the head of these companies don't even play video games. Like, I'm pretty sure the Zavlov guy don't play video games. I'm pretty sure Jim Ryan doesn't play video games. That's why he went with this focus for PlayStation. They don't play video games at these head of these companies, and they are destroying our hobby. And nobody's talking about it. No major media outlets, Kotaku, sure, but that's only one. Like, why isn't a major focus being brought on why these guys are destroying the people who made the Arkham trilogy? <laughs> that's just craziness to me. The bullet, one of the most beloved super franchises, is just being destroyed in front of us right now, and nobody's talking about it. Aren't corporations supposed to be risk averse? Live service games are more likely to fail than anything else in the game. And yeah, because they want you to just stick with that one franchise, that one game forever. But if you leave, that game flops. It's like you brought off just doing the one and done games at this point. Like, how they been doing? More crappy experiences. Awesome. No one likes live service games. Rock City, are you guys working on this dog crap? How does it feel falling from the top or selling out? <laughs> yeah, which one is it? Are they just falling from the top, falling from grace? Or are they just selling out to make more money? I don't know which one at this point. I think both, probably. No one asked for this. Uh, no one asked for it being live service. I wish we would get some effort information on this damn game. Been like a year and we haven't heard crap. Publisher has no clue what they are doing and who they are advertising to. That's also a viable headline. Um, FWB Games, this just means they're going to push the BS directive on yet another terrific game studio and ruin them too. I feel for Rock City Games, they're going to take the brute of the backlash when this game flops like Anthem. Yeah. You know, people wanted Rock City to make like a TMNT game at one point. They made, they wanted them to make a Batman Beyond game. They wanted to make a hell. They wanted to make a Justice League game. But we we aren't getting that. We're gonna get these live service BS nonsense because WB has a head so far with the behinds. They don't know what they're doing <laughs> with the studio. It's like, jeez, I wish Microsoft had the money to buy the studio. 
<laughs> I really do. And that was one time we need some constant consolidation going on. People won't talk about how it's such a negative thing. We need that for those because they are literally turning this studio into garbage at this point. He also made it clear that single player games like Arkham City aren't really on the menu anymore. <laughs> Arkham City is literally one of the best superhero games ever made. I think it's even better than Spider-Man 2, to be honest. I still think it's better than Spider-Man 2, but, you know, they want you to, they want to go away from that because they want that Fortnite money. And I agree. Somebody needs to save Rock City at this point. They definitely need to be saved. We need a real life Batman <laughs> to save Rock City at this point. WB Games learned nothing. Yeah, especially when Gotham Knights flopped. Like, how do your 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 the Batman family characters flopped as well, and you didn't learn from that? Like, uh, uh, what what is going on with the studio? Oh man, bro! And I, I guarantee you, if there was like an actual legit Batman game that followed the same style as Arkham City, Arkham Asylum. Spider-Man 2 would be just like nobody would care about that game but because they have lost they have gone off the driven path Spider-Man 2 is taking a spotlight for superhero games now which is kind of wild but hey they're not delivering so Insomniac is going to take that spot kind of sad to see but it is what it is this is what happens when these companies are being led by greed and not by art not by making the art that you were doing before you want to change it up to make more money so but this game is gonna flop. Like Suicide Squad is gonna flop more than like more than likely it's gonna flop. Like I got them nice too. But you know, they keep making these boring decisions and it keeps ruining gaming. So I'm beating a dead horse at this point. But definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. If you like like this video, it's always thanks for watching and peace.